Uh, they started basically in this area. Three weeks ago. We heard the chatter in, at night. Footsteps and large footprints in the mud. Of course, I was curious, but I didn't, wasn't that curious to, to run on down there. Boy Scout Troop Leader Jeff Newhart says his troop woke up to these prints outside their campsite near Lake Jacomo. Let's take off and see what we got. That's why he called in nationally known Bigfoot hunter Tom Biscardi. You had about 20 of the kids with you? To walk the trail. What time of the day did you actually come up on all this stuff? And put his team to work searching the caves and crevices. Okay, that one will put there, Rob. Installing night vision cameras all to try and explain this picture taken by Jeff and his troop that morning. There's a lot of movement going on out here right now. Biscardi says his hotline gets more than 10,000 calls a year on Bigfoot sightings, but the one in Lee Summit was a strong tip, and there's one huge reason for that. The caves in Kansas City, they're phenomenal because these are the places where these creatures love to habitate. So with cameras in place and listening devices in hand, it will be a long night of waiting and watching and monitoring caves. These creatures are gonna find a place to chill out and hide. You know, they don't wanna be found. If there's anything out there tonight, we'll see it. Reporting in Lee's Summit, Alan Shope, KMBC 9 News.